Today, I have the joy of tackling this crap room. I mean, craft room. Yes. So many fun trinkets and papers and bits and bulbs. <sighs> first things first, make an even bigger mess by taking everything off the shelf. Because if something's hiding, it is likely to not be used. So we need to go through and see what we've got. And we've got just about everything and anything here. Pouring glue out of this. <laughs> so now it's covered in sparkly glue. Oh, sparkly glue, you should keep that. <laughs> yeah, any glitter I see, I'll just chuck. <laughs> I honestly just love crafty, creative kids. It just reminds me of my childhood as an artiste. A box, a box of mist biscuits. These are all boxes of mist biscuits. It was at this point that I joked that maybe I just don't have the energy for this today. <laughs> <Just giggle. Yeah. sighs> okay, we got some things. I was finding boxes inside of boxes. Oh, that's a buttery flaky crust. Oh, oh yes. that's a that's 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 the fluttery bacon crust. Fluttery bacon bacon butter crust. Butter crust. Flaking burst. <laughs> oh. Do you know how gross this tastes? Oh my god, yes. Like so. <laughs> Definitely wasn't a shortage of bins to keep me going here. And my sister has great taste in music, so it just kept me motivated. <laughs> Stickers. Stickers. This is what I like to call organized chaos. Everything is sort of in a vicinity on the floor, so it looks like a mess, but it's sort of categorized. As a crafty person myself, I can really appreciate what has been saved. Look at these shiny papers. Making my way through this pile of sh and I want to go home now. Diddly diddly day, baby. If I could just take this all to the trash, I would definitely do it in a flash. But you know I've got a thousand paints to go through one by one. Ta-da! Like four bins of paints and paintbrushes and accessories. And now we're on to woodcraft stuff. I think that's one of my favorite parts about craft rooms is kind of going through everything and seeing what categories suit their needs. So here there's tons of painting and coloring supplies. I found a lot of stickers and stamps, so I put them together. And bit by bit, as I categorize and make these bins, I start finding more and more that can go in these bins, and the piles just gradually get smaller and smaller. Rather than separating a bunch of things, I created a group called Stationery. So it's got your tape, paper clips, glue, scissors, you name it. Normally with pens, I like to have a tester sheet and actually go through which ones are working and not and go through them, but I didn't have the patience for that. And just when I thought I had sorted through all the paints, I find this bin, of course. Kids art is a tough one, but it's not my place to decide what goes, so I will put it in this large tote. I'll never turn down a free snack. And now we are just down to the last tidbits and crumbs of the room. And there we have it. We can see the floor. I've got a hefty tote of recycling, a little bag of garbage, and many bins and organizing totes that were no longer used. We've got kids art over here. And then of course, all the crafting supplies you could ever need. 
Any best guesses how long this will last with these two kids? Regardless, I'd be happy to come back and do this all over again because it is so much 